Hello tubes, uh, this is just a little video I thought I'd put together about voltage on drills. Uh, these are all Makita stuff of my own and there's three different voltages here but I just wanted to show you something that a lot of people forget. When I first originally started working on site and for people I bought, it was a DeWalt 12 volt battery, uh, 12 volt one of them. But it didn't have a light on. Now, I bought this one because it has a little light on and it helps my eyesight because it was not very good back then. And uh, I actually swapped for this one. This is a 14 volt one. This is a 14 volt jigsaw. This is a 14 volt LCS. Now, this is an 18 volt. That is an 18 volt and that is two 18 volt batteries and that's a 36 volt. Now, you would think that these 14 volt tools are no good these days, but on the contrary, as I said before, I had a 12 volt DeWalt, uh, one of those guns. And due to it being 12 volt, the battery lasted much longer than the 18 volt counterparts these days. I know that for a fact. And then when I got 14 volt, the reason I got 14 volt is because all other people on site had 18 volt stuff and I could tell my stuff apart and they couldn't nick my batteries. That's why I originally got it. So I only switched to 18 volt later when I bought a circular saw and it's no good having low voltage uh, batteries on a circular saw. So what, we, what I was going to say is 14 volt batteries, I had absolutely no problem with them whatsoever except on a circular saw. Now this 14 volt one compared to that one is basically not a huge amount of difference. That will do as much as that one. It's hardly anything's the, any difference. But this one will last longer, the 14 volt. Uh, I don't know why it does, but it does. Same with the 12 volt one I had. Now uh, same with these other things. But the reason I switched originally, as I said, was because of the circular saw. Now circular saw at the time when I had these tools to start with there was only two and three amp hour batteries out now they got five amp hour batteries and six as well and more as, as well so with for instance with this saw here which I use all the time my favorite tool on site if I use a three amp hour battery on that that will not cut a full blade in uh, in stuff tidy but if I use a five amp hour it will cut cut like it through a knife through butter. This one is a 36 volt saw, which has got two batteries in it. That'll cut full blade in anything, wet timber, anything, but it's twice the weight of that one. So I do not use that one a lot, except I have when I have to, because this one has two batteries. There's only one in it at the moment, but you slide them in like that. But that's extremely heavy. But, uh, you can cut through seven by three uh, rafters that are soaking wet with that, no problem. Purlins or whatever. But this was about this really. 18 volts I use mostly, but this is my older tools. And there was absolutely nothing at all wrong with this. 14 volt was as good as anything I've ever used. So um, don't be scared of using lower voltage uh, tools because they are not what they're people say they're worth they are not there's plenty of power in them only with a circular saw you need an 18 volt in my opinion this is very very light and look at the size of the battery look that's a 14 volter there and that 14 volt battery I can buy for 20 quid I've just bought one for that now to be quite honest so you could buy four batteries of 14 volt for 80 quid where you get a lot of the time now these Makita batteries uh, 40 to 60 quid aren't they or more so there we are it's just a tip for anybody wanting to start in carpentry don't always go for the highest voltage battery this lower stuff is very very good and it's a lot lighter please subscribe for more content